everyone lost here and I thought I'd bring some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. I have a lot to announce because after I released the last video, Niantic teased and then announced what will be the next Community Day, its date, and what we will be getting. During the dev diaries behind the scenes of how Pokemon are ch chosen for Community Days and how they are planned out, we got a hint of a Pokemon that's electric and from the Sinnoh region which of course was later confirmed to be Shinx and of course its community day will be Sunday November 21st 2021 from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time and of course for the first time you'll be able to catch Shinx in the wild as originally it was just a raid boss but of course you'll be able to get shiny sh Shinx as the shiny rate has also been increased. And of course, if you evolve Luxio into Luxray, you'll, you will be given the attack Psychic Fangs for your Luxray. And of course, the special research story event for Community Day is Flash, Spark, and Gleam, which of course will cost about a dollar or equal equivalent currency depending on which part of the world you are in. And of course event bonuses include one-fourth hatch distance when eggs are placed in an incubator during the event, lore like lore modules will last for three hours. Incense will also last for three hours. And of course, Shinx will be photobombing you. And you'll also get special bonuses. Three times transfer candy, four times chance of earning XL candy from transferring Pokemon, and so much more. Another Pokemon news announced this week will be a event relating to Day of the Dead, which is normally observed in Mexico. It will be a two-day event from Monday, November 1st, 10 a.m. to Tuesday, November 2nd at 8 p.m. local time. And of course, incense, incense will last for 90 minutes. Same with lore modules. Two times catch stardust. Bonus transfer candy. And of course, there will be also Pokemon featured for this event in the wild. As well as attracted through incense or lures. As well as a collection challenge. And there will be a Battle Day event where you will win four times Stardust as a reward. And the Pokemon confirmed for, for this event Cubone, Sunkern, Murkrow, Houndour, Sableye, Roselia, Sunflora. Drifloom and Yan Mask and of course you will be able to get these as shinies if you are lucky and these same Pokemon are also applicable to to lore and incense encounters and of course Alolan Marowak as well field research the same thing and of course, there'll be a free event box and avatar items. And of course, 
the spotlight hour will be Cacnea, and you will have breakthrough research involving Volpe. Until the end of the month. And of course, research break. I mean, the Pokemon that will be returning to raids, the trio, the Guardian trio, will be Cobalion, Terrakion, and Viseron. And of course, Cresselia will be back until the 1st of December and of course you'll be able to get a chance to catch their shiny forms Man Trick will be getting its mega evolution and same thing with Lopany well, of course they're coming back in addition to Cacnea Spotlight Hour Chinchow Turtwig Chimchar and Pinplup, which of course likely to celebrate the release of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And of course, if you had registered your email address through GameStop Ireland, they are already starting to send out the codes for for Zakian and Zemazetta as shinies for Sword and Shield. Shiny Zanakin cannot the code for it will not work in Sword version and the code for Shiny Zemazetta will not work in Shield. The only way to get them is by trading from one version to another and you cannot trade these Pokemon in Pokemon Home. But of course, if you missed out on this event, hopefully Shiny Zakian and Zemazetta will be put into Pokemon Go one day once Niantic decides to release these Pokemon. One more thing. This weekend, I'll be live streaming on Saturday to finish out Jurassic Park on Twitch as well as live streaming on Sunday for Philly Safari Zone and I'll also be making a video about that to make up for the lack of a Pokemon Go Play video due to my dive trip up at Dutch Springs earlier this month. Thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure! And of course, TikTok. During these dark times, wear masks in public indoor settings, practice social distancing, carry hand sanitizer with you, wash your hands. Most importantly, get vaccinated and of course, stay safe, stay healthy and together. We are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet. And of course, one more thing. The majority of the footage shot in this video was shot when I was outside going out for a walk around the Eastern State Penitentiary.